This sonnet, the term sonnet originally indicates any poem generally of limited extension accompanied by music, Provencal sonnet, or from the Latin sono, to play. It then passed on to indicate the strophic form composed of two quatrains and two triplets of endecasyllables. Its origin is uncertain. Some believe it derives from the adaptation of other metric forms. The credit for this operation is, however, traditionally attributed to Giacomo d'Alentini, poet of the Sicilian school. The canonical schemes of this metric form contemplate alternating rhymes, A, B, A, B, A, B, A, B, or crossed rhymes, A, B, B, A, A, B, B, A, in the quatrains, while in the triplets the rhyming structure can present different schemes, among which C, D, C, D, C, D, or C, D, C, C, D, C, or C, D, E. CDE. It is among the most used meters in the cultured poetry of the origins from the Sicilians and the Guitonians to the Stilnovisti and Dante, but also in the comic realistic one from Rustico Filippi to Cecco Angiolieri. In the Middle Ages, the sonnet is also used in the context of that exchange of verses between two or more poets who support opposing theses known as tensone from contensio in Latin, whose origins date back to Provencal poetry. The arguments of the dispute can be very varied. Love, etiquette, politics, morals, personal issues, and are also dealt with in very different tones from the intellectual and refined to the exchange of vulgarity. In the Italian political production of this period, among the best known Tenzoni, we remember that of Giacomo D'Alentini, Jacopo Mostacci, and Pier de Levigne on the nature of love. In order to offer an exemplification of the sonnet form, the following is proposed precisely the composition that Giacomo D'Alentini writes in response to the lyric Solicitando un poco meo sapere, soliciting a little bit my knowledge by Jacopo Mostacci. Amor è un desio che vien da core, per abbondanza di gran piacimento, e gli occhi in prima generan l'amore, e lo core li dà nutricomento. Bene alcun fiata, o un amatore, senza vedere son amoramento, ma quell'amor che stringe con furore dà la vista degli occhi a nascimento, che gli occhi rappresentan a lo core d'ogni cosa che veden bono e rio, come è formata naturalmente, e lo cor che di zò è concepitore, immagina e gli piace quel desio, quest'amore regna fra la gente. Which translated is, love is a desire that stems from the heart, for abundance of great, like great attraction. And the eyes initially generate love, and the heart gives than nourishment. Uh, it can happen sometimes that a lover um, can fall uh, without looking at the object of his love, but that love that grips with furor, it, it is born from the sight of the eyes, because the eyes represent to the heart everything that they see of, of good and bad, for how it is formed naturally. And the heart that conceives this uh, represents in turn images and it likes that desire. And this love reigns in the world among the people. This sonnet presents a rhyming scheme A, B, A, B in the quatrains and A, C, D in the triplets. The presence of some rich rhymes should be noted, such as uh, piacimento, nutricamento, namoramento, nascimento. In the still novistic field, the exchange of six sonnets between Dante and his friend Forese Donati is famous in which the two launch accusations and insults at one another. But the sonnet's definitive consecration is with the great Tuscan poet Petrarch. The sonnet is a culture metric, as we've seen, form of Sicilian origin composed of 14 endecasyllable verses divided in two quatrains and two triplets. Its fortune 
within the Italian poetic production starting from the 13th century is enormous and continuous. It is constantly accompanied by a great attention to its codification and its variants, often expressed directly by poetic practice. After the fundamental Stilnovist and Dante's period, Petrarch definitely consecrated it as an elevated form, endowing it with a more balanced structure and preferring the cross-rhyming pattern of the front, ABBA, ABBA, adopted in 303 compositions out of 317, as in the sonnet 282, Alma felice che sovente torni. Happy soul that comes back. Often. This scheme is ABBA, ABBA in quatrains, CDC, CVC in the triplets. And we read it. Alma felice, che sovente torni a consolar le mie notti dolenti, con gli occhi tuoi che morte non ha spenti, ma sovra mortal modo fatti adorni. Quanto gradisco che miei tristi giorni a rallegrar de tua vista consenti. Così comincio a ritrovar presenti le tue bellezze ai suoi usati soggiorni. La ve cantando andai di te in molti anni. Or, come vedi, vo di te piangendo. Di te piangendo no, ma dei miei danni. Solo un riposo trovo in molti affanni che, quando torni, te conosco e intendo all'andar alla voce, al volto, ai panni which translated is happy soul that often uh, comes back, that you often come back to uh, consolate my painful nights with your eyes that death has not uh, turned off. But um, even beyond the earthly way has adorned them. Petrarch is referring to Laura, the woman he had loved and who had died. How much I enjoy that my sad days you allow to be cheered up by, by your side. So I begin to find again present your beauties in those places where I, I used to admire them. And there I uh, sang, uh, uh, I went singing of you for, for many years, and now, as you see, I go crying of you. Crying of you, uh, not about you, right, but of my uh, misfortunes. Uh, only a, r a rest, a consolation I find in, my, in, in many troubles that when when you come back I know you I hear you um, I, I, I recognize you in, in, in your move in the way you you go in your voice your face your clothes <laughs> 